boys and girls. Today we're going to read a non-fiction book about an oviparous animal. If you remember rightly, oviparous animals lay eggs and birds are an oviparous animal. So we're going to learn about a bird today, a spring bird, a robin. So let's find out more. Let's read. Egg to Robin, Melvin and Gilda Berger, courtesy of Scholastic. Egg to Robin. A mother robin makes a nest. She lays eggs in the nest. Look at those eggs. What do you notice about those eggs that are different than the eggs that you see usually? Fun fact. The mother and father keep the eggs warm so they will hatch. The mother or father sits on the eggs. A little robin grows inside each egg. Can you see part of the robin? I wonder what part that is coming out. Fun fact, the eggs hatch in about two weeks. So that's about 14 days. The baby robin peeks out of the shell. There's lots of baby robins in that nest. Hello, baby robin. The babies look quite different from their mummies, don't they? I wonder why he's doing that. Can you think of a reason? Fun fact, in time, the feathers will be smooth and neat. The baby robins grow feathers. So they don't have them when they're born, but they have to grow them. The baby robins eat worms. Ah, we figured out why they do that. We can see in this picture. That was a quick question. The baby robins eat berries. Fun fact, the babies open their beaks when a parent comes to the nest. The baby robin learns to fly. The baby robin flies away. Fun fact, baby robins leave the nest after about two weeks. So. 14 days in the nest and then they're ready to fly on their own. The new robin finds its own food. Fun fact, adult robins eat fruit, worms, and insects. And the new robin finds a mate. And the new robin makes a nest. And then the life cycle starts all over again. Hope you enjoyed learning about robins. Maybe you can go out in the backyard and find a robin of your own. Maybe you might even find a nest. Be sure not to disturb the babies though. Draw a picture of what you find. Have fun.